Hi guys, Todd here. Got a review on another 26650 mod. You know, one of these big hoofing battery mods. This one is by Fog Monsters in the Philippines. And I've had this for a, just over a week or so. And uh, I've been playing about with it. Sorry, I was looking over there for the camera. I don't know why. How does this differ from the other 26650 mods that are kicking about just now? Well... Just looking at that just now, um, it's a bit, it's not a flat deck on the top. There is a bit of a slope on it, which means when you stick anything like a 22mm atty or 20mm atty, anything like that, it, it doesn't look completely hideous or silly because of this, you know, you've got this slope going on here. However, it does mean when you put on a 30mm atty, that you do have a gap. In saying that, I do quite like this. I do quite like this because it's just a, a straight 30 mil tube. Um, so rather than me prattling on because I'm giving the game away before I do anything here, uh, I think we'll change the camera and I'll give you a bit of an up close look at this. Now this is 304 stainless steel, uh, the tube. We also have brass going on around the switch and uh, the hybrid connector at the top. And we have some copper going on with the button here and copper going on here as well in the contact. I think what we'll do is start with the top cap. Uh, you can see from the top cap here, we have no uh, 510 connection as such. Uh, or, or sorry, a Delrin insulator in here. It's kind of similar to like things like the 49 mod, stuff like that. You know, you screw your atty in, or your topper, whatever you want to call it, and the 510 pin from your device actually peeks out of here and makes contact with the positive post of your battery. So if I take my big dripper here, screw this on, you can see that that's just poking through there, and, you know, that makes contact with the battery. We have a couple of vent holes going on here as well. And, you know, it's going to let air in and out through this gap here. Now, I've not had much in the way of issues with getting anything to fire. But what I will say now, and I've already spoken to the Fog Monster guys and raised my concerns about this. But it goes back to the same as the 4.9 and things like that. This really does need some form of insulation in here. Uh, rather than just being fully exposed brass. Because uh, I've found that, you know, even when I screw the atty in, if I take the atty out, uh, but I have the battery in, if I actually push the button, then the nipple of the battery is making contact with this. I push the button and I get a hard shot. As far as I know, this batch that's just come out um, will not have that issue addressed, but they have promised that any future batches that they do, this will have an insulator in here. So if you're going to be using this, I would suggest cut even a bit of cardboard or a bit of paper or, or, or anything just to, you know, cover this exposed material here or be very, very careful. The threads are really fine. Um, there's a, you know, when I have no issues with the threads at all, uh, you know, they're beautifully machined, but there's a whole lot of screwing going on, Mrs. Jones. Uh, so there we are, we're on the top here. So I might as well show you the the tube. This is why it's called the ox. Now that engraving is full on engraving. That is heavily, heavily engraved there. It's the real, real deal. And you can see it's going right around the bottom of the tube there as well. They've done a beautiful job. Uh, inside the tube, the lot, it's, it's a really nice bit of machine going on there. Quite like that. Then we have the switch. Uh, so we've got copper going on here and it's heavily engraved here again. We've got fog monsters. This is serial number 245. And yes, I know it's all dirty and I have been using it. Um, so we've got a magnet in here. Oh, it's kind of like your Enzonic uh, type setup. You know, 
the magnet repels the switch out like so. You can actually adjust just by spinning the Delrin piece here. You can adjust for battery rattle. Now, that's great and all, but when you adjust for the battery rattle, you're increasing the throw of the button. So you can see the throw in that just now is quite deep. I mean, that is quite a heavy. Uh, if I screw the Delrin right down, it's not nearly as bad. Uh, inside, I'll take this to bits. You can see I've got the copper in there with a little magnet. And this was clean. Uh, and, oh dear, I really do need to clean this up. They've got that resistance going on here. And I can usually get this back in here, no problem. It's much easier just doing it by hand than using uh, needle nose pliers or anything like that. Uh, because you really don't want to risk stripping those threads. So because you've got the magnets in there, you can see that the switch holds onto the battery there. And that's my throw there. If I push this in a bit, you can see that the throw is getting shorter. So it can take a bit of a balancing act, you know, by... Uh, depending on the length of your 510 connection up here, whether or not you have a battery with a nipple on it, um, the throw is going to vary. So if I pop my uh, 26, well, my big 30mm dripper on here, like so, take the battery and pop it in. You can see right now that to fire this, it's got quite a hell of a throw on it. It does have to be said though, it is a, a bonny looking thing. It's really nice. Uh, I do like it. Now you're looking about 85 millimeters in height and as I said, 30 mil in diameter. Uh, just to give you a little comparison here. Uh, there it is next to the, the Hades. And you can see that the Hades is coming quite up a bit there. And that gives you an idea of how small this actually is. Um, I have to be honest here. Well, I don't have to be honest. I can lie through my teeth. I'm only 12 stone. No. Um... I am actually using a, a, magne a magnetic spacer myself uh, to just reduce the throw of that switch. So I've increased the length of my battery, if you like, to give me a shorter throw. Now, the same warnings go out with this one as went out with the 4.9, the red rod, and things like that. You have to make sure that your 510 connect connection on your topper, atomizer, whatever you want to call it, is poking out through that brass top cap section. If it's not, then you're going to have shorts and disasters. Uh, so please, please be careful and make sure that your, you know, your connection is sticking out far enough, or else it just will not work. And without the insulation there, um, it, it could be quite dangerous. Uh, if you're ex an experienced mod user, if you're experienced with stuff like this, then you won't have an issue with it. Um, I don't want to do what I did last time and, and worry everybody, but as long as that little guy there is sticking out past this plate here, you'll be fine. If not, don't use it. It's as simple as that. I wish the threads were a wee bit chunkier, you know, so you didn't have as many turns Put the top cap and the switch on. You have got a lot of turning going on there. But once it's together, this thing performs exceptionally well. It really does. I mean, I'm using uh, 60, 40, 60 VG, 40 PG Epic Juice uh, Waking Vape here, zero milligram. And it's, per 
performing really, really well. This is the this is a big Atty that I can't remember the name of. I just reviewed it a few days ago. As Modus, as Modus, I think it was called. Um, so it's a thirty mil. So it, it does look really good together, and I'm really enjoying using these twenty six six fifty mods. The engraving is lush. Uh, it's just ten out of ten on the engraving. Uh, the actual quality of everything is pretty high. Uh, I'm quite impressed with it. The, it's been, in their own words, it was designed to be used with nippleless and nipple top batteries. If you have nipple top batteries, then the throw on the switch is going to be quite short. If you don't have nippleless ba uh, nipple top batteries, the throw is really long. And like I've got a, a battery on the bottom of my a battery in the bottom. I've got a magnet on the bottom of my battery to reduce the throw. Price-wise, I'm not sure on price. Um, I, I found a site uh, called JoePims.me. It must be a supplier because the pricing is 150 US dollars per piece, minimum order quantity of 20 to 50. So I'm not sure how much this is going to work out to be once it gets to your vendors and things like that. I, I can't really comment on that. I don't know. It's got to be said. It, it's a bit, well, I'm sure somebody will come out with a lot smaller because it's got the mag magnetic switch the way it has, but I'm sure we'll see shorter 26650 mods in the future. Uh, but just now, this has got to be one of the shortest ones, and it's nice. It's good quality. I would give it two thumbs up if that bit at the top was insulated. As it stands right now, the one I have, I would be very, very careful. And you want to be well versed in your battery safety and you know the issues you can get with hard shorts and things like that. Uh, because as it stands right now, it's a bit dodgy. Well, I want to say it's a bit dodgy. It's not if you know what you're doing and what to look out for, which hopefully I've described in this video. But just be careful. That's all I'm saying. Just be careful. I'm quite smitten with it. I am quite smitten with it. Um, it does appeal to me. And I do like that top cap. I wish it was flat, but I can see why they've gone for that dome thing so that, you know, 22 mil atties don't look totally stupid on it. Each to their own at the end of the day. That's it for me. Thank you to Fog Monsters for sending this on to me. I did get this free for review. I think it will be coming to vendors in the UK and Europe before long, uh, so keep your eyes peeled for it. And uh, Or you could go along to their Facebook page. I'll put the link in the description, and you can ask them there where you can buy it. But from me, that's it. We'll catch up with you soon, guys. Cheers now. Bye.